Okay, I've got everything wired up so I can begin bench testing. And here's the contactor I'm using. It's a 12 volt coil with a 72 volt main lugs. I got a little fuse here. I've got a simple on off switch. And I've just got the throttle and the power connected to the motor controller here, connected to the motor there. Um, and before I connect the battery to the motor controller, I thought I would only test the uh, contactor and make sure that basically the wiring is all connected. Because also this goes up to the DC to DC converter up here. And so what I'm going to do here is just uh, check the resistance across these main lugs and see what happens when I turn it on. Okay, so I've added the wires going now to the controller. And therefore, it's all ready to uh, be turned on and activated. And to be honest, I'm a bit nervous right now because who knows what could happen. Um, so let's flip it on and we'll find out if something explodes or not. Alright, it's a good sign so far. Let's, uh, let's lightly do the throttle, see what happens. And nothing. Okay, the first problem is that the motor doesn't move when I hit the throttle and it's supposed to it's supposed to move a little bit, but I mean it's not doing anything at all. And you can actually see that the throttle is working because that uh, variable there starts moving around when I move the throttle. Okay, I'm going to attempt to start the identification angle function and if the motor starts to start to wiggle and make some noise, then I'm going to be worried. Right, I have the motor parameters uh, written to the controller. I'll try and begin the angle identification function and that should start the motor kind of uh, moving and moving around and making a little bit of noise, and if it doesn't do that, then I'm going to start getting a little worried. Okay, I have set the identification angle parameter to 170, which is what the instructions said to do. And now I'm, I saved it and turned it off. It's off right now. When I turn it back on, it's supposed to start moving around. Uh, we'll see if that happens. Oh, I just moved. That is a good sign, it just moved a little bit. Just moved again. And it's supposed to take a few minutes, three or four minutes. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. Oh, I'm relieved because I thought something was broken. Okay, let it do its thing for a few minutes. All right, it is beeping now. Three long beeps. I'll have to look up, see what that is. It might be normal. And the wheel stopped moving. Okay, it's beeping and I just checked on the app and it says that is the reset error and the documentation says the reset error means that the identification angle function is finished and I need to turn it off and turn it back on again. Turn it off, wait about three seconds for it to cool down, and turn it back on. Okay, I can reconnect with the software, and it will 
will show me that the identification angle has been changed back to 85, hopefully. Okay, it's now saying that the uh, motor, identif motor identification angle has been changed to 85 again. And let's see what happens when we hit the throttle. Okay, still nothing. I had to go into the Android app, disable the three-way switch function, write it, um, save it by turning it off, turning it back on, and now let's check to see if the throttle works. Alright, obviously my wheel is unbalanced by quite a lot, but it works. But that's full speed. That is awesome. Everything's looking good.